This is going to be the weirdest Monday uh, episode recording ever. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another day in the life of the First Owner RTG slash the Whatever Dude Weekend League Team Highlight RTG video series. Um, update for Weekend League. We bottled it. Uh, we went from 1 and 2 to 20 and 5 to 20 and 8. I got hunted down by Elite 1 Top 100 player twice in about an hour. And, I mean, he had a God Squad. Obviously, it doesn't matter. I have a God Squad. More importantly, he clapped me twice. And uh, and then I just lost my head and deservedly lost uh, at 20 and 7. Deservedly lost my third game as well. So, it is what it is, man. We all knew I don't have the composure to consistently just run Elite, especially while being stream sniped. I'm just not good enough at it. So, we finished on 20 wins and 8 losses such as life for the ultimate team of the season still got some good rewards for thursday but more importantly more importantly dude have a look at this team and have a look at the one and most important person in there the canadian r9 is now well and truly the canadian r9 we got ourselves a 94 rated jonathan david five star weak foot 99 everything for shooting that's important at least and dribbling he looks incredible so today I was very excited to get into the grind. Myself and Armalika spent two hours on share play going unassigned with rare players. We spent 600,000 coins-ish going unassigned on about 600 rare players in anticipation for really fun SBCs being dropped, grindable SBCs. It's the last week of the team of the season. So I was really, really looking forward to having some fun uh, with the grind. And what do EA do on the last grindable week of this game? They release 82 to 88 upgrades, which give you things that aren't even available in the game. There are no 82 to 88 rated players that you could care about right now. So that's useless. Although it is a cool upgrade system if you want to just craft other players. So if you do the bronze pack method and you do the silver pack method and then the upgrade method to the non-rare golds, you basically use seven non-rare golds and four bronzes for an 82 to 88 rated player. So this is a very good system. I've done it for years um, to craft. Last year we did it to craft um, uh, icons, right? So you can use it to craft this mod ridge. You can use it to craft you know, the, the Lucas Mora over time, although you'll need a couple of higher rated players as well for some of the teams, but so on and so forth. So it works well. But in terms of what we want to do and sit there and have fun and, and, and basically go full send on our club to try and get some of these team of the seasons, that 82 to 88 rated SBC is garbage. Now, even worse is they decided to release a two player 82 plus pack and a two player 83 plus pack now in theory these are really fun and really awesome if ea weren't such greedy greedy people and the reason i say that is the fact that they think that in june after they've made billions and people have rinsed their clubs through to next to nothing they think for two 82 plus players they should be getting people to build an 82 plus team per pack is obnoxious it's absolutely ridiculous and now do i think that if you were able to grind these heavily you could start getting some crazy good pack pulls yes but it's june so hear me out if ea released this just as a rare player requirement it would have been a really cool thing for the final team of the season of the year in my opinion rares you would still have to spend probably actually rare players would have skyrocketed up in price so even just with a requirement of rare players you would probably still be spending 10 or 15,000 coins a pop at a chance of 82 plus players. The problem now with the 82 requirement is this is an idiotic, idiotic requirement that basically shows that EA don't actually care about giving us fun stuff to grind. And second of all, even more stupidly, is they require this to be an 83 rated quad squad with, with not just that, but with 60 chemistry as well. Now, I think if this was an 81 or an 82 requirement with 45 chem, would have been fair for this. Still expensive, but it's two 83 plus players. Like that would have been, you know, I think a viable trade-off. And the 82 plus players, I stick to the fact that if they had made this rares, now maybe it's because I'm biased, because I'm going to tell you a second of how screwed we are essentially on this account, at least until Thursday. But I think it would have been fantastic if they made this just rares. 
the market would have exploded anyways rare players would have been expensive but it would have been a little something that ea could give back for the final team of the season and really the final relevant week of this game unless they do something crazy with fuddies or something fantastic with icon swaps or fut swaps it's past 6 p.m uk i i, I was expecting to with my unassigned list spend the next hour or two crafting 60 70 80 100 upgrade packs to open for today's episode but unfortunately myself and our malika doing the share play for an hour or two going on a sign last night we did it for rares right because every thursday so far this team of the season they've come up with upgrade packs where it requires rare players and that's it this week the first week ever they decided to just not have that as a requirement so shame on me i guess for expecting ea to do the same thing um to keep this week fun for all of us unfortunately it was not to be the case um so we now have an issue what do we do i cannot do and i mean i mean I, I i'm assuming yeah i can't even do anything what do we do do i take the financial loss i've put um 700 to 850 coins a pop into every single one of these guys so what do we do do we sit here on all of this this took so much time. This took so much time. So, what do we do? Do we take the L and discard everything? And lose, you know, whatever it is, 20 or 30% of our, our initial coin investment so that we can um, get back to grinding maybe League SBC packs and opening them um, and all the other things? Or I'm not going to do gold upgrades either. I'm not going to put, uh, you know, seven to 8,000 coins a pop into two rare gold player upgrade packs when I can do that with, you know, 10 or 11 non rare. So I won't be doing that either. Or, so do we discard everything and take our coin balance and try and get our coin balance back? Or do we sit on it until Thursday? And I'm torn. I'm not entirely sure what the process should be. So with this Jonathan David, I told you guys he would get into our main team no matter what if he got one. And he will be in our dream team until the end of the year. So I went and picked up one. He's going to plummet in price. He started at 400k. He's already down to like under 300k. I got this one at the 59th minute just as a representation for me. Nick 28T, you know, 280k. I thought that was kind of cool, nice and fresh. I don't even care if he goes down to 50k. It doesn't matter to me. He's going to be our striker until the end of the game. So to have a look at this card... His issue, of course, is as a striker, medium, medium work rates. That's the only main issue. I don't really care about the three-star skill moves for my striker. I'm fine with that. You guys saw me use the 80-rated red Jonathan David in Weekend League, and he carried us to, like, I think it was 14-1 and one or 14-2 and two, um, with an incredible goal scoring and assist record. So I loved his 80-rated. I can't wait to use this one. I'm not sure what type of uh, chem style I'm going to give this card. Probably a Maestro. Maestro will boost his agility up um it'll boost his dribbling up and it will boost his long shots and shot power and attack positioning so i think that's going to be very very useful but if you look at this card man he is so meta it's incredible um so so good now of course he doesn't have he has a flare trait but he doesn't have like an outside of the uh foot shot trait which i wonder if that would help him out because he has the five star weak foot i don't know I i'm really excited to try him out so the problem is now for the whatever dude weekend league team is that Neymar and Mbappe are going to be out of the team and if they're lucky used as super subs so do we build ourselves up for the squad not for this series but for the squad to get a Dino as well and to finish off the year with uh Jonathan David as our striker Dino as our left cam Messi as our right cam Johan Cruyff as our central cam De Bruyne and Calvin as our DMs and then these beautiful four as our back line or do we full send the entire like the entire club that i guess that's the issue what do we do i am not entirely sure now again a lot of people are going to be upset thinking that the only reason i'm calling out ea on these requirements is because i went unassigned that is part of my frustration but that is not why i'm upset i don't and i know i said it would have been cool if this was rares i'm just giving you guys an example of what would have been cool for ea to do now if you disagree and you think this is completely fine to have in june each one of these being an 82 rated team which is what like 20k to do and this one being 30k a pop to do sure fair play i guess you've you know you've, you've definitely drank the ea kool-aid so fair enough 
But I was just wishing that for this week we'd get something a little bit more enjoyable. Even if they threw a curveball and it was um, like seven rares or an 80 rated squad or an 81 rated squad, but 82 rated? It's June. What are they doing? And the fact that people are getting mad at me saying like I should shut up and it's just because I went rares on a sign. I don't care. I mean, it's annoying, but I don't, I can go discard it and it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So I think what we're going to do here is maybe we do discard. Maybe we do discard and just ignore the full send this week. It's not like EA want us to full send anyways. I'm frustrated, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm frustrated. I don't know what to do. Um, because I want to grind to get this team and I can't really grind. I can't grind League SBCs this week because I'm unassigned. Um, we can't visit the Devils section either to build up the few coins we'll need for Dino. Because Dino is what? 3.5 or 4 mil, right? 3.5 or 4 mil, something like that? Sell 80 plus, discard below. Well, the problem is I don't even think 80 pluses are really going to sell. He's 4 mil, right? Look at the objective card. Yeah, so anyways, um, we've, we have we, we got up to gold one in squad battles as well. So that's another few packs to open. Um, not much else you can really do in squad battles. Um, so we do have an objective card to look at. Is this SBC? Squad battles too? Squad battles, squad battles, squad battles, squad battles. So that's cool. We'll definitely get him. Looks like a cool card. I guess the question is what his work rate, skill moves, and weak foot are. Evander, that's not a bad card. Even if it's for SBC fodder down the road. I don't mind that at all. Okay. Go for a moment's best. I could go for a moment's best, but if we're talking about a dream team, we all know, as much as I really enjoyed using moment's best this year, um, we all know that Dino's got to be the one that gets in this team to finish the year, right? Like, what what, what a fraudulent Nick 28D squad if we finish the year without a Dino. Moment's best we could go buy right now if we wanted to. Um, right? Try 451. Yeah, a few people have mentioned that. Try 451. Do we think 451 will work? A few people have said 451 we might be able to get better chem. I don't, I don't know how. How would we go ahead and get better chem, dudes? Um, isn't that worse chem? One, two. One, two, three, four. So it's about it's the same thing essentially, right? Center swapping center backs doesn't change anything, guys. Come on, you should know better. Doesn't do anything. Yeah, that's arguably worse. Need moments, Dino? Oh, so you mean use him there and then, like, do this, but with moments, Dino? But then you're still talking one, two, three off of Chem. Bape Striker? Jonathan David at right mid? But then that means taking Leo out. Van Dyke is fine on seven. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's okay. I mean, so so this is basically... With this formation, it's basically just giving Messi chem. You're basically swapping Messi for having chem and Virgil for, for being off chem, right? Essentially? BVD out, Rio in. Nah. 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 Unless it's a moment's Rio. I, I, dudes, I think this is kind of like just where we're stuck, buds. I think it, no matter how we switch things around, for sure there's going to be four players off of chem. 
Swap center backs. I don't know how many times I've had to say, dudes. It doesn't change anything, bros. Nothing changes. If you keep spamming that, it doesn't make it that we're going to get better chem. Yeah, I, I mean, there, so I haven't noticed a difference here in terms of the uh, chem improvements. So I think we're just going to stick with this, buds. I think we're going to stick with that. That's going to be the uh that's going to be the play. Messi is fine. 4 4 try 4 4 1 1. 4 4 1 1. How does that uh help us? How does that help, bros? Or do you mean do that and then that? So now we're talking one, two, three, four. I mean, it's still the same thing. That's VVD full cam. I mean, but VVD was full cam on the other one. No difference. I think we're going to just stick to the initial setup, bros. I think that's as, as good as I could have gotten it. Question now is whether or not we can build our, um, our club up to getting a, a Dino. Don't know if it's going to be uh, possible. But we'll try. That's as good as it gets, buds. Okay. I think we discard everything. And if we want to go unassigned again on Wednesday night, we go unassigned again on Wednesday night. I think that's what we do, bros. One, two, three, yeah, four off of chem is as good as it's going to get. We'll go Canadian um, La Liga, which is what we have. That's the money move. I just wanted to make sure that we had the uh, the positioning ready to go. You can get three uh, off of Chemnick. No, I, I, I am aware. You need a center forward to striker card. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. Oh, and then we'll have to get Dino on... Uh, loyalty too right we'll be on 98 chem for a little bit until we get loyalty okay all right so is there anybody else you guys wanted to have a peek at in this setup for the uh rest of the world team of the season eduard that's your mbappe troll or sitch looks insane um do we have any messy trolls no doesn't look like it is Suarez in the team of the season? Because that Stuani would have been perfect for his troll. I don't think he is. He should be. But Cecenia is 5-star, 4-star. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I like that. That's really cool, actually. De Bruyne troll with 86 Belgian. We did call a De Bruyne troll. Where is that Belgian? Where is he? No. Well, maybe... Wait, 86 Belgian? You mean the Romanian? Belgian? Where? Am I blind? Where's there an 86 rated Belgian? Yeah, he's Romanian, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> they did miss an opportunity, though. There's a few Belgian center mids that they could have turned into 86 rated team of the seasons just to troll people. I'm surprised EA didn't take that route. No, Ryan Ken. He didn't deserve it anyways, dude. Come on now, man. Don't be crazy. Um, 
All right, I think we're going to have to, because I'd like to open uh, these few packs. Wow, I can't believe we're going to discard all of this, man. What a waste of time this was. Good lord. How far off of Grealish are we? Um, I did one of these today, right? How have I not achieved anything else? Score and assists. Seven rivals wins using Premier League midfielders. Oh, well, that's how. I don't have Premier League mids in the dream team. Grealish looks sick. Yeah, we'll get him. We'll get both these guys. I guess we have, what, 10 days, 6 days? So, we'll, yeah, we'll get these done. KDB what? What did I say about KDB? Scoring finesses with an EFL was terrible. Yeah, I feel that. So, do you guys think we should try and sell these? Did I say KDB instead of Grealish? Is that what I was doing? Oh, my God. Nah, this is just straight discards, dude. Oh, God. Oh, well. R.I.P., dude. R.I.P. What did these frauds put in here? Of course they did. Of course they did. Okay. Did I go for Elite? I did go for Elite, yes. I did. How to make coins quickly, guys. <laughs> How to make coins quickly, bros. How much did you buy them for? Um, that's literally like 50% of my coins gone. Big yikes. Do the Spanish League 30 times over? That's nah, okay. We'll go we'll go again Wednesday night. We'll go unassigned again Wednesday night for the Thursday full send. If we if we feel like it. I don't know. I might not, man. I might not at this point. We might just build the team we want and then like do the, I just feel like the League SBC grind is probably more better time invested. So, like, for tomorrow, we'll do, again, the League SBC grind. Um, we'll, we'll have, like, another 50 or 60 packs ready for tomorrow. Run the Fup Market does not use this method, by, method, by the way. Thanks for letting me know, dude. Appreciate it. Warzone tonight? Yep. Yep. So, YouTube, I wanted to update you guys on where we stand. I thought today was going to be a super awesome epi in terms of pack grinding and doing all of this stuff. Unfortunately, it was not to be the case. But the good news is, selfishly for me, I got one of my most wanted players um, in the club now, in Jonathan David. My dream team is well and truly finished once we can build up uh, to getting Dino for the Whatever Dude Weekend League team. And uh, tomorrow, we I, I've got a mid-icon. So either way, we'll be able to pop a mid-icon too here. It's not, you know, it's not it's not the end of the world. Maybe we do um, a mid-icon. If we don't get something good, we'll do another mid-icon. We'll do both mid-icons for this epi. But what's most important for me is that we got Jonathan David. Got a 94 Jonathan David, the Canadian R9, dude. What an applicable name now. Minus the skills, of course, but... If I pack mid Hullet, will I sell KDB? Ah, uh, yes, probably. Yeah, I think that's uh, the the only player. Wow, oh my god, dude! Did we even get anywhere near our coin balance back? We didn't, did we? Holy Jesus! All right. Anyways, to end off this relatively uh, short episode, we'll make it up to you guys tomorrow, though. Um, we'll rip these few squad battle packs you lost 200 coins per card no i think i lost closer to 300 coins per card unfortunately but that's okay it's all right we you know what man we went into it hoping to get something um good and and we didn't it's all good no big deal it's all good. Now, we could craft a couple of these 82. You know what? Do you want me to craft a couple of these 82 plus packs? I bet you we can throw together. See? Look at that. See how expensive these 82s are now? 2,500, dude. It's 30k. It's going to be 30k a pop to, to, to make these.
30k a pop. How insane, man. Now it's because he's PSG. PSG aren't really that expensive. The 83s are like 2k normally. VPL 82s are 1.2k. Are they? Oh, interesting. Huh. So you're talking... If you guys are right, you're talking about 12,000 a pack? Huh. It's actually not that bad. That's really not that bad. 82 to 88 is any good? They're good for fodder. For like SBC fodder. Sure. But other than that, not really, no. Um, okay, so. See ya, see ya, see ya. See ya. I don't think any of these sell. Ibisevich might sell. Nope. Uh, yeah, Kate might sell a little bit. Yay, dudes. We made one of our discards back. Amazing. Yeah, and he'll sell for a little bit. Maybe for the same thing. Keep non-rares for 82 to 88. Nah, I, I would only use untradables. I'd rather take the coins. Sacrifice the players to get better pack luck. Yeah, that, that hasn't really paid out. You can pack Mane from 82 to 88. Mane from 82 to 88. Yeah, like any base cards that fit within that range, you could. Yes, you're not wrong. So any team of the seasons that are out right now that have an 82 to 88, you could technically pack them. But the likelihood is still very, very low. Egerland. Ooh, my goodness. Look at that. 600. We're rich, dudes. Even more rich. 400? Yes, please. I don't think these guys, because they're too low rated, yeah. Okay, give me that. And then Camacho will be the same thing. Like, yeah, maybe worth a little bit, but not much. Will they bring the three silver player packs and stuff tomorrow? I hope so. They probably won't. They'll probably let that die as well. Okay, so should we go for the end of this epi craft a couple of the 82 pluses just to see if they're even worth it? Just with what we have in the club. Like, I've got a lot of untradeable League 1 players that I can't do anything with. Should we? Let's see. Let's see what we got from League 1. League 1. Maybe I don't even have a lot of, of them. Who knows? like to think I do one these are gonna be so bad aren't they throw in I guess up to like 80 rateds I'd have to slide 183 in there too um Rem? My god, we might only be able to do one of these. Yikes. Pino, Neves, Guard. Oh, I've got it. Good chunk of... Okay, hold on. And you can use 81s as well. Okay, so let the first one be... Hilariously, that still is only 81, 81 rated. That's 82. Oh, we'll get it. Here we go. Yep. Way. There it is. We got one, bros. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. Ugh. You ever just want to go... Ugh. Sometimes that's all I want to do. I'm not going to do these, by the way. I'm not going to do these. This seems like a horrendous, horrendous move. Let's go... Just got the French team of the season troll. Doing 83. Nah. 
82 to 88 is much better for crafting. Yeah, but they're kind of boring too, man. Like 82 to 88s were fun during like team of the year in January, you know, where you could even get semi excited about some of the informs you could get and some of the special players you can get from 82 to 88s. But again, it's June during like team of the season. You know? All right, so we'll start with uh, this. So you can use 982s and 281s. I don't know how that changes when you throw an 83 in there. We'll have to we'll have to do that calculation ourselves. Close. Okay. That's two packs, right? Edward is goaded. Wait, whoa, 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 oh my god. Imagine I put that into Oh Dude, I swear to God they have that at, at 442 so that people do exactly what I almost just did. Done two, got Giru and Onana. I don't know. I might do a couple of these. Maybe we'll do like 25 for tomorrow's epi as well. What do you guys think? Waste of coins? We got to get Dino first, though. I think that's the uh, that's going to be the concern. If I, I, if I don't have enough coins to get Dino, I don't want to, like, full send and then not even be able to complete, like, the Dream Team. Change the title? I know. I will. Monday, full send. I'll just put LOL. Title will be changed to LOL. I think we'll be able to get Craft 5 here. Are alerts off? They are, yeah. We're recording for YouTube right now. So alerts are disabled. The nice thing with uh, the chemistry is you don't really have to overthink it. It's pretty sweet. I like that. Did I do that right? I did. Can mods change it? If they want, yeah. But they got to keep everything else that's in there, right? David's from the Pro League. Yep. He is. He is shafting every small league fan, for example, by only putting in D. Only putting in D. What do you mean by that? I've done 23, 83 plus packs and got two walkouts. They're so bad. Oh, God. Uh, change the title to like Happy Monday in small caps and then leave all the $250 stuff there, I suppose, and Nick 28T or whatever. Check your Super League attackers for the uh, new objective. They've gone up. Okay. Roger. Okay, so. How many times can one man say, okay? <laughs> Many 81s as we can into it. There it is. That's got to be the bare minimum. Has to be. I'm going to just assume that is the bare minimum, actually. Hold on. That shift over. Do Reitman's and LM's count as midfielders for the objective? Yes. As long as you sub them on as left mids or right mids or use them in your team um, as left mids and right mids. If that, uh, if that makes sense. Just got the Belgian troll. The Romanian guy. Did one of these and got Onana in the 90 team of the season. Wait, is Onana a team of the season as well? No, right? Okay. I want to do I want to do one more. If we can. Got Falcao from an 83 plus pack and can't be bothered anymore. Yikes. 
So you could get Ben Yetter from an 82 to 88 as his base card is 83? Yes. Yes, you can. And there will be people that will get that, exactly. Just seeing Jonathan David's card. Isn't he sexy, man? Love it. I, oh my god, it's amazing. I love it. So I think I might need three 83s here. Throw them all in. So I think if we do visit the Satan's Laboratory, um, we are going to... We're going to keep all 81 or higher rated players. Yeah? Okay, so that is the max that I can do at least. This and this, we should get it, right? Yes, sir. I did like four 82 to 88s and got Higuain. Nice, dude. Congrats. I'm very good. I'm going to span 82 to 88s and use them for fodder for SBCs. Smart. Smart. Maybe build up your, your club of hopefully 86, 87s, and 88s so that you can uh, be ready for the ultimate packs, right, that come on Wednesday. That's also not a bad idea. Did you discard rares? I did, yeah. Yeah, we lost about 100k, 150k on uh, going on a sign, but it happens, man. I can't be upset about that when I've spent 20 to 25 million of my coins on promo packs. Right? That was much dumber than us deciding to go unassigned in hopes that uh, something good would, would come from it. You gotta take the risk and sometimes it doesn't pay off, man. I'm not totally mad that the 82 plus pack, you need these 82 rated players and whatever. I'm just kind of mad that EA just don't really, it doesn't feel like they give back to the uh, to their community at all. It's unfortunate. There we go, there is the max. Close, even more close. We got it. All right, that's five or six 82 plus packs crafted uh, for the, End of the epi here. Right? Five or six? Surely we're going to get a Jonathan David out of this. I mean, all right, let's see. Let's see if these are worth anybody's time. This will de decide whether or not... I think that's a board. Walk out. This will decide whether or not we do this grind for tomorrow. Build maybe 25 of these. Is that even good? I don't know. Bonucci, SBC Fora, Borja Iglesias. Okay, so first one a walkout and a board. Second one is at least a board. It's just a board, so we can skip it. Not terrible, but almost terrible. Yeah. Okay, so two boards in the next one. Feels like that's probably better than what most people are hitting from these already. And that's not a board, yikes. That's tough. Third one, no board. So we're degrading, it's getting worse. We got a walkout, then we got a board, and then we didn't get anything. So that's halfway through. Our fourth 82 plus. Okay, that's a board at least. Oh, it's a blue! Ooh! Oh. I don't even know who this could be. What? <laughs> Is he good even, 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 even? Well, that's going to be SBC fodder, bros. Wolf. I Krem. Looks pretty bad. What are we saying to my fellow Norwegian viewers? Should we even be excited about this? Um... Oh my god. All right. Well, that's SBC fodder. Fought up for sure. Okay, that's not a board. He was sick in football manager in 2013. Interesting. 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 
Do we finish on not a blue? All right, so we finish on a board. So one blue from six. I guess that's not awful. That's not terrible. It's not great, but that is going to be the end of the epi, dude. So we're going to finish it on a mid icon. Thank you guys for watching. Again, sorry it's a relatively short episode. I was expecting to do a one or two hour heavy, heavy grind. Come on, Rude Hullet, baby. Rude Hullet! Oh my god, yo. Ha is he? Is he a cam? I think he's a cam! Please! Is he Sabio center forward or a cam? Okay, I think I, I think. It's probably a good way to end off my mid icons with another donkey. Eusebio's a center forward. Yeah, I got excited for no reason. I hate myself. Anyways, we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.